<sighs> Alrighty, folks, today we are here in beautiful, sunny Hawaii. We are here in a, in a boat launch off, off of uh, the coast of Kihei, to be specific. And today, if all goes as planned, this video will be a bit special compared to the other videos on my channel. Um, a few different things are happening in this video. It is going to be the first ever saltwater fishing video on my channel. Um, and it'll be the second ever catch and cook on my channel. So that's pretty special. Um, a few things have happened while trying to film this video. First of all, I've been trying to film this video on a GoPro. For pretty much the whole week, I've been trying to film this video on my GoPro. And several things have happened. The first time I tried filming, uh, the first time I tried filming my phone, just, I mean, I, no, not my phone. My GoPro died. No, that was the second time. The first time I didn't catch anything. The second time my GoPro died or rather, it just hadn't been charging at all overnight. Um, and the third time, the SD card was full. So, yeah, various things have happened that have caused my GoPro to not work. This morning, I planned to bring it out here. But, again, it didn't charge overnight. So, now, I'm filming with my phone. The same way I've filmed... My past six videos. But hopefully today we will catch stuff. I know nothing is going to go wrong with my phone. It's a full battery. And I have the normal chest strap. And if we catch stuff, we're doing a catch and cook. No, no. If we catch legal stuff, we're doing a catch and cook. Stay tuned. Well, first fish of the day, guys. Got a tiny little rock wrasse. No, saddle wrasse, sorry. Um, dang it, dang it. The hook is super deep. He really, he really ate that thing. Um, uh, well, the good news is, even though this is such a tiny fish, I'd rather not keep it. They are illegal to keep. So, I could cut the hook, but, I mean, come on, he's not going to survive. It's in his throat. What's he going to do? Swallow the hook. That's what he's going to do. So, I'd rather just put him out of his misery right away. And then maybe I can pull my hook out, get it back, use it again. Nope. Nope. Ugh. I've eaten some tiny fish, so he's not too tiny to eat, and we can always cut him up and use him for more fishing bait. But, uh, at least they're plentiful around here. But yeah, that's our first fish of the day. At least we have a catch and cook. Just got a, got a second saddle wrasse. Thank goodness this time he's hooked right up at the lip. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I got him off. He fell down, but I saw him plop into the water in between these rocks. So 
he will swim off. Yeah, just if I don't have to keep them, I won't keep them because they're just such a small meal. But that's two saddle rests for the day. Just gonna throw it back in the same spot. If I catch anything, I expect it to be another one. And maybe I'll switch up spots to try to catch some other fish. Cause I've seen bigger ones. Third fish of the day. This tiny, tiny, tiny little thing. Now, let me make sure I have this in focus. I caught one of these guys yesterday. And I need, I have no idea what kind of fish it is. So I need some type of identification because I want to keep track of every species I catch. I want to know what they are. That'll be my 10th species I've ever caught, unless it's just a normal hawkfish, but I don't think it is, it looks different. So I wanna figure out what that is. I have a big old fish on my line. Um, it's a goat fish. Let's go. It is a goat fish. I sight fish this guy and he is legal. Let me get him safe up here on the rocks. Not lost, even though I dropped him. Um, this is definitely eight inches, but just to be safe, just to be safe, I have to measure him. Have cut. Oh, here we go. That is legal fish he came up and assassinated my bait and now I'm assassinating him there he will go hit his brain those are just nerves guys I feel I, I felt the tense up how the fish Fish goes super tense when you kill. Uh, all right, we gotta catch him cook. He already had a 
super damaged gill. So it's probably good that we're keeping him. Let me wash him off and then put him in the bag. Illegal goat fish. Can I lift this guy? Yep. Legal goat fish. Ah. Okay guys, so here we have our uh, goat fish. Now we're gonna clean him. The way we're gonna cook this goat fish is we're gonna just take the scales off, take the guts out, and then bake him in the oven with some butter and salt, very simple recipe. We want to get as much of the taste of the fish, the actual fish as we can. We also have this tiny little guy that we caught. If you remember, we had to uh, had to keep him because he swallowed the hook pretty bad. I still haven't gotten it out. I need to get that out before we cook him. Actually, no, we'll just take the head off. I thought about using this guy for bait, but um, I'm only in Hawaii for a few more days and I'm probably not gonna be fishing that much. So it would, probably go to waste anyway we're just gonna eat him tonight so uh i'm just gonna scale this fish with the spoon i have here both sides the scales are pretty big but that means that there's not a lot of them All right, I'm just gonna make sure, I'm just gonna go over it one more time, make sure all the, uh, all the uh, scales are off, and then we'll gut them. Okay, now we're gonna gut this fish right up here, the little uh, anus, we're gonna slide our scissors up in there and uh, cut a slit for us to pull the guts out of. without cutting the guts and nope we didn't cut any guts and then we are going to pull them out like so they come out pretty neatly and nicely and orderly and all that good stuff and then we're just gonna take a little bit of our scissors and we're getting this uh, little black line here. We're gonna cut it. This is the kidney and then scrape it all off with our fingers and wash it all out. You don't have to get the whole thing out. It's kind of hard to do that. All right, here's our completely cleaned goat fish, scaled and gutted. Now we'll get back to you when we start cooking. Okay, so now before we put these fish in tin foil and put them in the oven, we are going to dry them off in some paper towels. Here's the small one, we cleaned him off camera. And here is the main event, our cleaned up goat fish. Oh, I'm excited to try this fish. Um, I've already had uh, a saltwater fish from the same place I caught this one in. And I, I assume that it should taste about the same as the other one. 
it looks like it's going to just a normal white meat fish but you never know different fish often taste different even though the meat looks the same uh we're gonna do very basic seasoning i'm just gonna put some salt on them uh I don't know if anything's coming out. Oh no, it is. Yeah, I see it. This little uh, slit here works as a salt shaker. You can, salt comes through there. Um. Then I'm just going to slice up a little sliver of butter. And put that inside the stomach of the fish. And actually, before we put the fish in the tin foil, we're gonna get a little olive oil to uh, drizzle onto the fish because that's a generous amount. We will rub it all in. Yeah, we're just gonna drizzle this onto the fish because last time I cooked fish in the oven, a few days ago, um, it stuck to the tin foil because I forgot to do this. Now I'm gonna wash off my hands. You can get over here. And we're just gonna wrap this up into a nice little fish package. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees already. I'm just gonna slide my fish on in there. Not exactly slide. And then I'm going to Put it in for uh, 20 minutes is how long I'm going to put it in for. All right, and then in 20 minutes, we'll pull it out of the oven and do a little taste test. See you there. All right. Uh, the fish is done. Now we're gonna take it out of the oven with these things. Oh, some juice are spilling out. I might have penetrated the tin foil. But it smells great. We're gonna bring the package over here. And as we did in our largemouth bass catch and cook, we're just gonna sit down and do a little taste test. Okay, I just wanna see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. Look at that melted butter and olive oil. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. It's kinda coming apart, but that's how you know it's done. We're gonna try a little bit of both. Wow. Okay. First of all, the goat fish. Um, it looks pretty hot. But wow. Look at this. Nice white meat. <sighs> Scrumptious.
that's great. It has a sweet flavor to it. You know, white meat fish, it's nice and flaky and falls apart easily. Now let's try this uh, saddle wrasse. Also great, these fish are both great. Taste test went well. Um, actually, real quick, I have this little diagram. Let me uh, show you what fish this is. There are a few different types of goat fish. Oh, I forgot. It's not on. I forgot. It's it's not on this diagram. I thought it was. But anyway, uh, this went very well. The fish tastes great. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my meal. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.